guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to cover textured acrylic painting and create those beautiful dragon petal paintings you see all over Pinterest and Instagram. First off, starting with Gesso, I have Liquitex Acrylic Mediums Gesso. This is going to help prime our surface and prevent our paint from bleeding into our surface, whether you have a wooden panel or a canvas. This also adds tooth and is non-yellowing. Uh, and just make sure you let it dry for 24 hours before painting on the gesso. You're going to need a trusty old paintbrush. Any paintbrush will do. Uh, depending on the size of your panel or surface, you're going to want a bigger brush or smaller brush. I'm using a cradled wooden panel from Michaels, but any wooden panel from Flex or Yuri's Arnorama will do just fine. I'm applying the gesso directly to the surface. You can do it from a palette as well and making sure I'm using a combination of vertical and horizontal strokes to do a thin, even layer. With gesso, you can use it straight from the bottle or you can dilute it with up to 25% water. So I'm just making sure I get a nice even coat there, uh, leaving some grit from the strokes of the paintbrush so there's tooth for my paint to apply. And then I'm gonna let it dry. Going into what we need for our textured painting, we have Golden Extra Heavy Gel Gloss. This is a whopping 128 ounces, and this is going to be our main medium for creating those beautiful thick dragon petals with the acrylic paint. Next up is Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic Paints. These are nice and thick and are just going to add even more to the body of paint that we're looking for. And these are just the two fluid ounce size. Uh, they do come in 4, 8, and 16, I believe, in particular colors if you want to stock up on some bigger sizes. Um, I would just try to avoid the transparent ones if you're trying to make a completely opaque dragon petal textured painting. Next up is the Blick Palette Knives. These are made in Italy. And I really like the variety that Blick offers with these. I got a set of detailed knives. Uh, the one thing that I didn't care for is the chrome tip on it compared to the Liquitex Freestyle. The Liquitex Freestyle is made in China, but the handle is has a lot more of a comfort grip and the uh, blade is made out of stainless instead of a chrome plated finish, so I feel like it won't rust as easily as the, the Blick palette knife. So going back, I'm gonna probably purchase more of the Liquitex Freestyle palette knives opposed to the Blick palette knives. And lastly, we're gonna need something to mix all of this textured paint in, so I have some storage containers. Next up, we are on to mixing so that we have everything primed and ready for us to start painting. I'm using a ratio of 15 to 1 here of the Liquitex Heavy Body Acrylic Paint. To the golden extra heavy gel gloss. Uh, the only thing I really regret about this heavy gel gloss is there is some shrinkage so you really are going to need to load up the paint onto the canvas so that when as the painting is drying there's no gaps in between each petal that you lay down. I think in the future I'll explore the Liquitex alternative uh, since it is opaque and does not uh, dry clear. The problem with opaque mediums is they can tend to lighten your paint and create more pastel hues. So here I'm just mixing every shade of blue that I have and lining up my colors in the, the order that I want to lay them down on the canvas. From cobalt blue, primary blue, ultramarine blue, every single shade of blue I had. In here I'm just using the glass component of a picture frame as my palette. Uh, this makes it really easy to scrape off the paint at the end of the day and doesn't waste as much as using paper plates or uh, other disposable palettes. And so here I'm just taking my Blick palette knife and I am moving the paint back and forth, back and forth on the palette to make sure I have the paint fully loaded before laying it down. And with these petals, I'm alternating. So with each row that I laid down, I'm placing the petal in between the two petals on the previous row create that dragon scale effect. And in this case, with the colors we're using, it kind of looks like a mermaid, mermaid scale effect. 
and with this you just want to make sure the, the heavy loaded up side of the palette is going to be what's facing upward and then you're dragging that down in one smooth confident motion to get a clean petal. One thing I would recommend is make sure that the tail of each petal is pretty uh, long and thick compared to what I did here. I don't, I'm not scraping very far down across the canvas afterwards and this is once again due to that shrinkage factor that will occur if you're using the golden extra heavy gel gloss. So now I'm just going through each row and once I want to transition to another paint color I incorporate that in. The sides are a little bit tricky because uh, you, you can't do a full petal necessarily on those so in those cases you might want to just load up the tip of your palette knife or the base depending on how you're positioned. Uh, I would definitely recommend starting from one side and moving all the way across rather than starting in the middle like I do occasionally here. Overall, textured painting is a really relaxing way to de-stress and take some of the, the hard thinking out of, <laughs> out of painting sometimes and just create a relaxing environment for you to create something beautiful. And in terms of drying, you're going to want to let your painting dry for at least, I would say, five days at a minimum, just to ensure that the acrylic is fully dried to the touch before handling. Uh, in terms of applying a finishing coat or protective spray on top, I would definitely use a spray opposed to doing a varnish with a paintbrush, uh, just because it can be a little hard to get in between all the nooks and crannies of each dragon petal. And we're to the end of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial on how to make your own dragon scale textured painting. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below. And I hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye.